Welcome back my friends to part 2 of Dragon's Dogma 2. Obviously the last episode is linked below. Now before we go back to where we ended yesterday's episode, I just wanted to mention that I made a video showing people how to reset their character because you can actually do it for free in game. But a lot of people seem confused about this. And I also show people how at least on PC you can have multiple character saves. There is a workaround method to do that. No idea if they'll change it in the future though. We have quite the view from up here, but today we're actually going to be making it to the main city in Dragon's Dogma. We're also going to be unlocking the Warrior and Sorcerer class and doing a bunch of side quests and the main quests. But I've timestamped everything below so you can skip ahead to the parts you're interested in. And we're also going to be taking on some pretty beefy bosses too. So that's always good fun. I mean, that's the best part of Dragon's Dogma, really. Now, this castle right behind us here, I think this is actually the one from the cutscene. So I believe if we actually climb up to the top of it, we should find a pretty beefy ballista. Right up to the top here. This is actually where we got shot from. Oh, you can use the ballista? RB to draw bow screen. Yes, Lydia, you stand there and I will fire you into oblivion. Maybe we'll just fire it at the bridge. Oh my God. Oh, it drops off pretty far. Okay, let's drop this and then we'll hop down. Is that some soup? What is that? A seeker's token. There are 240 of these tokens scattered across the land. <laughs> if you bring all of them to your guild hall, you'll get a special reward. Oh, no. Well, we're actually Here's making a, a wiki, which I'll link At below in the description. Weren't for naught. So yeah. if you want to help us I'll find have to them remember all... To tell my own master about this. Oh, our pawns are actually going to help other people find that same treasure. That's a pretty treasure cool. Chest. Shall we oh. see if we can't make our way over to it? Oh, Carl's seen a treasure chest. If we actually go back down these ladders, I miss this one in this broken up house here. Let's see what's inside. Winter's Path and a Fergulous Lord. So these are three different spell tones where you don't actually need any magical oh, skill to I'll use them. So the inn is just here down is the road here. Oh, have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, that's the apothecary, is it? Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. Your fingers. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. I can't. I almost died getting here. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. She looks what rich. what can I do? I am dressed in prisoner rags, and she is wearing a noble's gown. I'm going to give you aid. What? Mayhap this ladder is... We could make the fruit reborn ourselves, or simply purchase some at Runa's Apothecary here in Mel. Is this the apothecary, then? Yes, of course. I see it now. Ah, well met. Here for some fruit, Roberant, are we? Here, but it costs 600 gold. That's almost Always as much as pleasure. me buying some actual armor. Now, I've also got some dried fruit here. Can we combine that with something to make it? We combine it with green warish, which grows around here. Yeah, we get the Roberant, which saves us 600 uh, gold. Recipient. Hello again, sir. There you go. So this is what it looks like. Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. Kind of creep me out a bit, to be honest. I haven't much to offer in return. I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like. My heart is light as a feather after that exchange. Oh, okay. Just doing good deeds, are we? I've changed the camera to the bottom right because there's actually a mini-map there. And sometimes your pawns will say things to you and a little explanation mark will appear on that mini-map. So this guy looks like he needs some help. Is that you, Norbert? Oh, fie. I got my hopes up for naught. Wait, listen. Would you be willing to search for my brother? The brave fool said he was going to look for herbs and went off into the forest. I've seen He's no dead. sign of him since. I'd go and search for him myself, only... Only... It is a dangerous place. Understand? Classic NPC syndrome. You want me to search for you. I I'm not afraid of monsters. Sure. But it would hardly help anything if I were to run in there unprepared and get myself hurt now, would it? That's exactly. Many thanks. Right. As for where I think he's gone, I don't think I could plot it on a map. And it's hard to describe. 
Well, just come my with me. My brother and I are the only ones who use that path, to my knowledge. I suppose there's only one thing for it. I'll have to show you the way. Just Good. be alert. The monsters of the forest have changed since the dragon's attack. I'll need you to watch over me. Keep me safe. You will, won't you? Can I say right. no? <laughs> In we go, then. Our aid is required, Master. Let us depart with due haste. All right, we've got to help him find his brother, and then we'll come back to the pub. But first, I must do this side quest. Back through the smoked village. Looks like there's some more knights around here, actually. May have is... you should speak with Sir Leonard before we depart. Oh no, I'm going to skip that main quest. We'll come back and do that later. Okay, so we're taking a left off the path into an area we've not explored now after backtracking. Oh look, there's this a campfire a here. Let's stop here a moment. I've camped here with my brother many a time. If the Arisen has a camping kit to hand, they can pitch a tent to restore their party health and stamina. So it allows you to grill meat, which grants a boost to certain stats. The finer the meat, the better the boost. But you should eliminate foes nearby, otherwise they might ambush while you sleep. Can we actually equip skills? I've got Biting Wind, which is a new ability I unlocked. Lydia also has Blink Strike which allows her to rush forward and jab the enemy. Oh, there are actually some camping supplies nearby. Have you uh, forgotten something, Ariz? We ought press on, lest ought before my brother. All right, let's go then. Across the bridge we go. I do love how pretty the landscape is. Obviously the graphics isn't like cutting edge with Dragon's Dogma, but it is enough to definitely get lost in, that's for sure. Oh, there's some goblins. And who's this? Is that a bandit? Oh no, it's someone actually attacking the goblins. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah, we've got Jesus. Goblins. Almost died. We need not shrink from down. Die. We have the strength to prevail over anything. Take him out. I think that goblin just jumped off the cliff. The brine is in the water and that will kill you. Okay. Be careful. Ow, ow. Oh my god. I thought I just died, but I'm okay. We've leveled up our vocation rank again. All right, come on then. There's also little avenues leading off the beaten path as well, which we could potentially explore, but I'm going to focus on this quest for now. Come to think of it, was there not another task? Can anyone hear me? Oh, Please. it's your brother. I need help. And some ballerina wolves. Oh my God, they're attacking, they're attacking. Jesus, Jesus. Oh my God. No sense letting the ow, enemy ow, gain ow. the upper hand. I'm almost the dead. The worm, I was stuck say. in the dialogue. <laughs> Get Rex. Do not despair. I'm coming to your aid. Thank you. Heal up in the healing aura. And then we can go in and help Lydia, who's getting beaten the heck out by a wolf right now. Get Rex. Nice job. I knew you would prevail, Master. Oh, Which thank you. I've some catching up to do. Die. Oh my god, Will, no! No, he's gonna die! They're all going at him at once! It's pretty brutal. Get wrecked. I love the combat in this, this game, one's it's great. I thought I was done for! Ah, oh, it was a near thing. How are you feeling? I think I'll be alright, but if you hadn't come for me, I... Thanks, Ian. Save your thanks, Norbert. I'm your brother, and I ought have come sooner. From where I'm standing, all that matters is that you made it in time. Anyway, I'm eager to be rid of this place. Let's return to the village, shall we? The sooner the better. I've got to deliver these medicinal herbs to the people who need them. So now I've got to escort I, the brothers back to Melv. But before we do that, let's have a quick look around here, because we've got mad support if they're going to help us in combat right now. And there's a dark cave here. Can't really see inside it, but... Backwards nest. It is always nest. daunting to venture into the unknown. Mind. Go ahead and light it. There we go. Let's go and have a little exploration, eh? See what we can find in this dark cave. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait. Indiana Jones reenactment right there. Kill it! Correct. Oh, there's loads of them. And there's a chest at the back here. We've leveled up. 
Oh, I can't quite reach it. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we got some Minement Robrant. A medical pellet which recovers health. Am I the first to notice? Oh! I didn't know that would happen. Okay, he's healing oh. thank god. And what's this over here? Is that actually ore I can mine? Oh my god, you get a pickaxe. Sick, I didn't know you could mine. Quite a nice little um, excursion. So from this cave, you went down this road here, under that bridge again, and then there's a road that forks off to the right, which leads to the Moonglow Garden. We found some different plants, and then just over here, we find Beren's tent. I don't know if this is a shortcut or not, but it seems like a big open area down here. Oh, it's Moonglow Garden. Does that mean I can find some ingredients to harvest? Who's this at the camp up here? What is it? Got a question about my training regime? No. Suppose that was an unlikely guess. None took to the training like you did. Open to enlist, then? No. A pity. I can say yes. I'd hope to add you to our ranks. You'd seem like you'd be fit for battle, even if I were to call upon you on the morrow. Which is more than I can say for the rest. Apologies for assuming. We've had fewer folks looking to enlist of late, and I'm hungry for recruits. At the very least, I'd like to provide some decent training to the soldiers we have now. Easier said than done, especially when the weapons we were promised have yet to arrive. It isn't like to boost their morale having rusted steel to train with. What I wouldn't give for some decent weapons and a soldier to act as an example. Someone with motivation to grow. That'd light a fire under them, I reckon. Mayhap you could aid us. I know tis much to ask of anyone, let alone a stranger, but what else am I to do? I will pledge my aid. Much appreciated. We'd welcome what you can spare. Sir Beren's request to give is you. quite understandable. Weaponry and motivated soldiers are the pillars of any military. Well met. Have you any weapons for me? So I need to deliver any types of sword. Hmm. <laughs> he didn't like that I rejected him. He was like, hmm. Forgotten rift stones. Oh, I can rebuild this. Amazing. Okay, let's actually go and grab some more pawns. Okay, so this is an official pawn, which you can hire without spending any rift crystals as long as you're a similar level. But they're only available for hire for a limited time. Okay, let's go ahead and hire. Let us hire work him. together to honor the Arisen's trust. And I also want to hire an archer. Oh my god, it's Voldemort. It's riddles. Wow, it's actually as Voldemort. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Amazing. He has a nose, though. That's the only problem. This guy's name is Wario, like Mario. <laughs> Hopefully those two guys didn't die on their return journey. I can see the campsite burning over there, though. We're going to take a detour back. Goodness. Oh, those rabbits. Can I kill them? Oh, I can. And I can loot them for rabbit pelt, which is probably another craft ingredient. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. It came out of nowhere. I love how Lydia just comes and decks him. My god. Okay, Barry, calm down there. Look at Barry go. He's a wizard. Can I loot this one? 250G. Nice. I should really buy some more armor. I'm being very cheap. I can actually see it's getting nighttime now as we well. Barry as set saying. my swords on fire. You did. Oh, get wrecked. I love the kill assassination moves too. Now, if you get close to plants as well, they do actually glow when you can loot them. All right, so we're now heading back to town, and I know it gets a lot more dangerous at nighttime, so we kind of want to go back pretty quick. Come nightfall, you won't be able to see any further than the ground at your feet, and the onset of darkness summons fearsome monsters. Explore the wilderness after sunset at your own peril, and be sure that you have a lantern in your pack. Some items that are gathered will change over time. They can ripen and grow more flavorful. If aged long enough, they can become more useful when combining with other materials. However, some of them will decay. Certain objects and structures can be destroyed by your attacks, but will regenerate after an amount of time has passed. Same with fruits and berries. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah, 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 I was not expecting that, Jesus. Run for your life. No one can defend themselves when grappled like this. Just get out of there, boys. Lydia's dead. Lydia's dead. We've got to go. Just run. We need to get to the pub. Back at last. That was an ordeal. You have no idea. I got attacked by undead. I I'm exhausted, but I can rest after I've delivered these herbs. I'll be back soon. You wonder why I don't follow him? So long as he stays away from that forest, he'll be fine on his own. Sorian was rather hard on himself, methinks. He saved his brother just as much as we did. We've completed it, though. 
Now let's go back to town and rest. We can also combine an apple with this to get a health potion. What happens if we combine this with this? A bunch of flowers. Oh, that's cool. And by combining random ingredients, we actually learn different recipes that we can craft. All right, let's head over to the inn then. Hello there. Good man. Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? Yes. She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. Uh -huh. Your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. What are you giving me? It sounded heavy, whatever it was. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. That sounds interesting. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vocations, mayhap I can advise you. Fighters? It is a vocation for those who seek to master the sword and shield. Fighters favor a balanced approach, excelling in both offense and defense, and can adapt to any situation. I am a fighter myself, and should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart unto you some of what I know. So he can teach us skills as a fighter class. Cool. Any other vocations? Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you will find that new paths to master will open up to you over time. Try them as you like. Yeah, I recommend you swap between them. You can literally master multiple vo vocations in one playthrough. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. And there are more vocations than just the ones he but listed But I shan't to. take up any more of your time. Pray be well. The maester's teaching is the most powerful skill that can be acquired by each vocation. Learning a maester's teaching requires the use of a special tome, which you'll receive if you impress the vocation master with your abilities. However, the true potential of skill can only be realized by those whose vocation rank is high enough. My magics are at your disposal! Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. Rest for 1,500 gold. I should really buy some armor first. Let's go for vocation guild. Acquire and equip skills. If you've unlocked a vocation, you can change it at any time, which is accured when defeating enemies and completing quests. Each vocation has different skills to learn. Core skills are learnt as soon as they're acquired, but weapon skills must be equipped before they can be used. Augments are special abilities that can be equipped regardless of your current vocation. You can have six at any one time. So we can use our discipline that we've gained so far to unlock these different skills here. Like Kindling Blades, which ignites your weapon so you do even more fire damage. Also Shadow Cloak, which lets you turn invisible and blend in with your surroundings. There's some very useful situations where this can come in handy. Helm Splitter, which does damage to airborne enemies or even larger enemies. And then you have the Power Charge ability. Places an explosive on the ground at the user's feet that can be detonated from afar at the moment of their choosing. I think we're going to get Kindling Blades. And then we're going to go to Lydia and she can also learn some warrior skills. Airwood Slash, highly recommend you get this as soon as possible. Harpies are a nightmare in this game, so definitely buy this one. We're going to clip it on her Y. It's just, it makes your pawn more useful to other players as well. Then Shield Bash, deliver a powerful blow with a shield that can knock targets off balance. Or Shield Summons, which basically acts as a taunt for nearby enemies. So we're going to go ahead and get this too, because taunts are very useful. Uh, and then we're going to get Shield Bash as well. We can also unlock core skills for our followers as well. Like the ability to deflect attacks or knock up enemies. I'm going to get Scarlet Kisses, which increases my auto attacks. And I'm also going to get Subtlety, which decreases the likelihood of being targeted by enemies. Really good combo with Lydia. We can also deposit some stuff in our storage that we don't need currently. For example, we don't need all of these arrows with us, all these crafting materials right now. And then we can go ahead and rest here till morning. Shall we get some rest then? I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Me too. Off we go then. Oh my God, is he dead? I hope you slept well. Get up, get up. Poor Barry, we're gonna have, wait. Oh my God, is this, this isn't Barry. This is just some random guy. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. We're gonna have to wake him up properly. Here you go, have some breakfast. Oh my God, he's dead. Bustle puts me right at home. 
<laughs> All this hustle and bustle must be right at home. Well, I see. So this is where you've been. <laughs> Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. Uh, okay. Shall we seek some answers? Yay! All right, let's head down to meet the guards at the village gates. Ah, You're the you one. Returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. Questions? First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? Well, I guess so. My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? I'm actually ready now. Good. Then let us be on our way. Oh, okay, we're walking. I thought he was going to cutscene me there or something. We're going a new pathway we haven't been before. I can see some goblins up ahead already. Goblins are super common early on in the game. Oh! Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. Get wrecked. Oh, my new kiss ability is really powerful. Really nice. Let's take this guy out. Get wrecked. I want to try picking up this goblin and throwing him. There we go. Let me pick him up. There we go. And throw him. <laughs> oh my god, he died from the fall damage. My magics are at your disposal. Let's loot all these guys. We're level 7 now. Nice. I'll probably jump on an archer at some point. Like, um, I definitely want to try out the spear vocation because that looks really cool. So if I use Kindled Blades, I can ignite my own swords, and I do an attack too. Then I have Biting Winds, which is a crazy sprint attack. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Yes, that's very smart of you. Truly, I do not know what we would do without you. I'm going to climb up here because I, oh, I can see there's a, there's an ambush up ahead, boys. Look out. Oh, my God. I'm getting... They've got bombs. Right, I'm going in behind. Oh, my God. What? I, dare I didn't know I could do that. This lot without us. Ow, ow. Fighting win. Oh, my God. I can fly. Die. <laughs> I'm so powerful. Oh my god, I got hit by a rock. Who threw that rock at me? So he has a goblin horn, and there was a chest up here. Dude, that like Assassin's Creed kill from up there was so cool. All over the place. We have found a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. <laughs> I know, please stop telling me that. The Arisen okay. is the lawful ruler of Vermond. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not dealt with lightly. Oh, it's just a stupid sleep one. ability. Regardless, do well not to invite my mistress. The Arisen has been put to sleep! Oh no. Someone help. Oh no, we're always just having a nap. Wake me up, Will. Thank you. Me? Caught unawares? I would never be so careless. Can I wake up my companion? Get up! We need you. Oh, I'm going to sleep again. Everyone's having a nap. Wake up Lydia. She's actually useful. Oh, man. I've been put to sleep like three times. Come back down here. Oh, no. That's not helpful. Attack Lydia. Oh, God. Oh, Sorry, Lydia. Okay, we finally took them out. All ten of us. Well done, master. Oh, we can high five. I just high five Lydia, boys. Mate. That is a beautiful moment right there. Oh, there's a secret cave. One sec. What is What's that in tower? here? Nay, how do, a how do I get in here? We ought oh, to I can take just a hop look. over. Oh, there's a secret way up to the top. But what's at the top? There's a big statue of some kind. Looks like there's an offering at the bottom. Jasper. I think that's a gemstone. Can we slide down here then? 
Come on. Wee. That looked very painful. This is rather thrilling. And where does this go? I think I'm lost. Oh, there's a secret uh, rift area. Carefully conserve my strength. Andrew, okay, let's go ahead and hire him. I think Will is a bit useless now. He's level two. Sorry, Will. I'm going to give him some rotten meat. <laughs> ah, good. Good job, mate. <laughs> will you not miss my company once I am gone, Arisen? It will be I actually an honor will. to serve by your side. All right, come on then. Let's go. There's something at the top here too. Just two posts in the ground, really. Oh, there's a secret little area down here. Hello. Oh my god, there's goblins. Uh, can I send in my men to attack? Oh, get wrecked. Someone's throwing boulders down on them, too. We absolutely destroyed them. There's a secret chest here, too. What's in the box? It's a wakestone shard. All right, we've got to go back up here. All right, now we can carry on down the path. This mountain is massive. Oh, is this the capital city already? Maybe this is the entrance. Hold here but a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Open sesame. That's the password. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An Arisen, by all appearances. An Arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. Bit rude. It's uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one Arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? Civil War. Hasn't really thought about the implications, has he? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. Oh, nice one, dude. Done a good job. But before we go through that gate, there's another path here, and I want to see where it leads. Oh, this bridge. Oh my god, this was the bridge to the Let encampment I started at? Surely there must be an ability I can use to bridge that gap. Someone's building a bridge, but it's just not ready yet, I think. Okay, let's continue. That's kind of cool. Like It's kind of like Dark Souls in that like you progress the game, and you can look back at those areas you were at like, hours ago. I just like how it's all connected like this. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Aught may have befallen it. Best we press on. Is that a chest? That's a chest. That was a little jump of excitement there. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. I mean, we you cannot know, it's expect free. gleaming treasures around every corner. I mean, Lydia, I think we literally can, though. I mean, you've been adventuring in Skyrim with me long enough. There's literally more treasure here around the corner where it's five small fangs and a treasure chest. Like, what is going on? A savagery extract and another golden beetle, which increases our carrying capacity even further. All right, back at the tent. Now, where's our good friend gone? Our good companion, eh? Here he is. Running off into the distance. Oh, there's another chest. One sec. Might as well loot this. I don't know if you guys want me to cut the looting out of the video or not, because, I mean, I'm just going to loot. Look, even Andrew, my archer, is looting their entire camp. Okay, I've looted all your belongings now. We can carry on. I really want, like, this armor for Lydia, because it looks really cool. I'm going to set this off. And there are some more camp supplies here, which I'm going to pick up. Before we carry on. What? Looks beautiful, man. That view. Oh my god, are those deer? What was that? Oh my god, the whole mountain's coming down. Is it a landslide? Is everyone alright? Watch out for the stag, bro. More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. Dude, that was more than a dragon. I mean, my god, the whole mountain just subsided. 
Watch out for the water too, buddy. Oh my god, is that guy dead? Tis a pleasure to meet you. Don't interrupt me, I'm on a mission. In fact, you know what? Because you've insulted me. You, sir, get out of here. I mean, you know, we saw Rook take that really well, so I think it's okay. Get wrecked. Uh-oh. Oh my god, beautiful job. Get deleted. I think they're already dead. There's some fish on a stick here. Oh, some more goblets. Oh, I missed. Dodge Delta Reno. Get wrecked. This is what the landslide killed. Couple of goblins here. Going through the mountain that looks like it collapsed here. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead. We'll see. I can see harpies ahead, and I don't like that. There's some big trees, and who's this? Hello. Oh my god, that was close. Sir, get your bow out and start shooting. Nice shot. Your rhythm has been put to sleep. Uh oh, I'm having a nap, boys. Everyone's trying to get to me and just napping on the rock. Oh, Lydia, thank you, babe. All these harpies just make yonder. me want to change Looks to, to an be a archer. good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? There's just a random mage almost dead here battling the harpies. You got him, nice. Die. Yeah, Rex. Oh, the fire is very effective on the wolves here. And it even burns the brushes away? That's really cool. Okay, it looks like we've reached a ruin of some kind. I don't want to check this place to be found out. There. Can you not see it? Yes. Oh. Need to take a closer look. They're attacking. Go, attack! Oh my god, Lydia. Don't worry, I'll save you. Die. Just an absolute melee ruin right now. Oh, that was sick. Yeah, that leveled me up. Let's go. Here we go. Die. If battle cannot be avoided, just fight and die. No quarrel here. Oh, there's a little sneaky chest down here. So where that little chest was, there's another one just here where I'm standing. And then in the bushes here, hidden away, there's actually an ornate chest, which obviously has a higher chance. Dropping us something Is there even any better. way to climb up there? I'm Ring not sure of what indifference. Find, but it might be something useful. I actually think I found that. I saw that in the shop earlier for like 8,000 gold. Grants power to those that resonate with magic. So not really useful to me, but... Oh, and someone actually picked up one of the loot chests on the top here. Nice. Right, now we've explored this huge ruin. And it does look beautiful, doesn't it? We can carry on. It looks like there's actually a camp site up ahead here. All right, let's go ahead and rest then. We've not made camp yet, so we'll do that. We'll use the modest camping kit. We have two currently, so might as well use one. We got an achievement. Oh, it sets up a camp. That's really nice. Oh, look at that. All the adventurers are here with us on the quest. It's not just our party members, it's everyone. Oh, who did the cooking? That looks disgusting. I've nothing to share at present. <laughs> okay, great. That was a good conversation. Pray, call upon me again another time. Good chat. How about you? This place makes my hair stand on end. We can also sit down and just join in the uh, the chatty conversation that's taking place here. Okay, let's go ahead and cook. Aged scrag breast gives us massive recovery. We might as well use it as well, otherwise it will go out of date. So let's do that. Let's, I haven't seen the cooking scene. I think it's like live action. Oh, beautiful tomahawk steak. Makes me hungry, actually. That's like beautiful 4K. It must be like 8K footage originally. Looks stunning. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Indeed. Oh my god. Surely we've time for a short kip ere we continue on our merry way. Let's rest till morning. Or nightfall, no. I thought everyone got poisoned by my terrible food. Like, I'm like, mate, you can eat steak raw. Like, why, why are you all dead? <laughs> my food's not that bad. 
And let's continue on our merry way, shall we? So far, I'm really enjoying the adventure of this game. It's like, it's so pleasurable to play. Look at this absolute summoner. Let's hop over the log. It just feels so infinite. Oh, I recognize this place. It's probably lucky I camped there and boosted my health up. We're trapped. Oh my god. That's not the confidence I wanted from the commander. A cyclops! To think we'd encounter one here of all places. He just threw his club. I'm climbing on his back. Be on your guard. Let's go. I'm going for the Cyclops' eye. We'll use twin fangs. Kindle blade. Go. Set him on fire. Oh, we're destroying him. I'm almost out of stamina, though. Oh, my God. I'm going to fall. Oh. We've got down safely. You can grab hold of a foe while standing still by making contact with them while pressing right trigger. Then you can push or pull them to draw their focus or knock them off balance. Right? I'm okay, Lydia. It's good. Just attack his leg so he falls over. Yes. Right. Now hit him in the face. Was most effective. Oh my god, that's huge damage. Quick jump. Climb on him again. Dude, this is this is Dragon's Dogma. This is Dragon's Dogma. This is why you play this game. It's these insane combat counters. My magic are at your disposal. Oh my god, yes. Enchant my blades. Oh, we got him, boys. Easy. Thank you. You have my gratitude, sir. It would seem I misjudged you. That's why you play the assassin, man. You just absolutely hose pipe. I had enemies. taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Look at Lydia standing on the body of it. <laughs> Yet the valley you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. What is it? Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. It is your decision. Oh, okay. Well now, ah. the road's blocked. The cart can't get through like this. Oh. <laughs> A powerful current ought to set this rock to crumbling, if we could summon one. Oh, it looks like we could do that. Do we have explosive arrows? We do have a big club. Do we have Wingardium Leviosa, though? A beast steak and a rugged bone. There's a big explosive here. Can I grab this? Yeah. Maybe I can throw it. Oh, I almost died. Oh, my God. Look at the physics. The troll's body got, like, pushed down there as well. That's actually really cool. Well, that's definitely cleared a path, hasn't it? And the water slows you down when you're walking through it. It's just so well done. Ah, uh, here's the cart. It's already setting off the little little tinker. I wanted to rob your camp. You can see you've got some chests here. And there's more camping never supplies can there. Have too many of these. Give that ah, to Lydia. Here's the oh. cart now. Do you intend to join us? Um, yes. Do you know what? I think we will accompany you. Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. We'll be off. And I just climb in. Oh, I can. I'm gonna sit in this little, uh, the little blanky seat because that's because I'm important. Oh, my pawns are just. <laughs> Lydia has to walk. <laughs> Classic. This is like the example where you just never buy a horse for Lydia. I want to doze off. Goblins! What rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. <sighs> Can't take you anywhere. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here. Let you do all the work this time. Oh, hello. Good goblins, master. Kindle blade, die. Ice and fire, shatter thee. Can't hide in that bush from me, fool. 
I love how Lydia just always rushes to my aid. Look at this goblin going for the car. Oh, I accidentally hit the ox. That's not good. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? Yes, I will accompany you to the capital. All right. Can't wait to Into get ambushed. Car, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's let's pretend like we're not going to get ambushed again. Let me just sit I here. Oh, look, here we are. I remember watching this cutscene in the trailer. Oh, I recognize the capital from Dragon's Dogma 1. That looks a lot more pretty now. Vernworth, capital of Vermont. All these peasants. That guy's hiding in the field. Oh, we got the blinds down on the carriage. Hello there. He's just gazing thoughtfully at us. Maybe he senses that I am the Arisen. I was informed of your coming, would be Arisen. Would be Arisen? How dare you? Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it, though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. There can only be one. We must battle to the death. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. Hmm. I knew this would happen. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Great. Stand watch outside. He's going to tell us that he's part of a conspiracy, I bet. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. Wait, what? <laughs> I was right. <laughs> if the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Enough of this farce. I don't understand. <laughs> your anger is well justified, and I shan't deny you it. However, I am obliged to make you aware of your situation. My situation is dire. A few months prior. Your months. arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. Hmm. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Damn. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. It makes sense. It's interesting that she's the puppet master, though. I didn't expect that. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. Oh, yes. The best place to discuss plots and mudda. He <laughs> just leaves his own office. I'm just standing here. This like, one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? 6,000 gold. God damn. I can almost stay in the inn in the city now. Now what does this say? Both the Mund and Bathar regard the scourge of the dragons as a matter of the utmost priority. Should the baleful creature align on either side of the border, both nations are sworn to provide aid, as well as assist with the evacuation of the populace and with scouting missions as needed. 
In such an event, all troops are expected to put aside any disagreements of faith or culture and devote themselves wholeheartedly to their duty. That's pretty awesome. I wonder if it's like, you know, actually upheld. So here we are in the city. You can see it's pretty big. I mean, very similar to Dragon's Dogma 1 from what I recall. And I think we walked all the way down the road here to get to the city, which I will unlock later. Is it raining? Oh, it's raining. Not Pray raining. forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Lie or tell the truth? He's right behind me! <laughs> I'm a thief. I'm gonna lie. Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. Okay. You're a kind one, aren't you? Twould seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Actually, I thought you'd pay me because you look rich. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. Fare thee well. Look at him go. So there's a smithery just here, and we can just loot this copper sitting around the place. Nice. So there's tons of chests that we can loot from all these stores as well, and they do respawn half the time, and we can sell the stuff within them back to the shopkeepers even. Oh, look, the ox is sleeping here. Oh, we'll let him sleep. All right, let's carry on down the street here. This looks like the poorer area of town. So I think this is a smithery at the top here. Let's go and see if we can buy any new armor. We've survived this far with literally nothing. Hello. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember... Misers die early deaths. What are you selling and why is it so expensive? And it actually tells you what class each one of these items is for too, which is pretty useful. Some of the question marks are vocations we've not unlocked yet. So the hunter's mail looks pretty damn cool actually. Or oh, lamella armor, but my class can't wear it. We can get the sprinter's boots though. They cost 7,900, but they're good for archers and thieves. So I'm going to buy that. I really want to get some kind of chess piece. So I can still afford the hunter's mail. It's a bit on the cheaper side, so we can buy Lydia armor if we want to. We can also sell them stuff too. Like we don't need the minor shirt anymore. So let's sell that and our trousers. You can also enhance our equipment which gives a slight buff to whatever you enhance. Let's increase our weapon damage slightly. And now we need copper ore to upgrade it. So we should actually hold on to those materials. We can sell him our ripened food so it doesn't go off. Weapons and now are we simple enough to procure if we've the coin. To or we the might pub. be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. So the pub is just up the stairs here. I'm noticing a lot of FPS drop in the city right now. Here he is. This is the man we needed to speak to. Your Majesty. Your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Let's get the camera angle right. It is not a matter for prying ears. Pray. Let us speak out here. Shouldn't have met in the pub if you didn't want any prying ears. We're going to stand at this table, are we? As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Hmm. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace. But the date has now been set. Ooh. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. So I'm going to have to go kill some big monster or something. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. I, there's, there's a number of them. Tell me of the monster culling. Oh, God. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? Yeah, easy. I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that have seen significant trouble of late. 
The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. My pleasure. Next is Half Village, west of Vernworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, oh, no. there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. There Very is no well. shortage of beasts that need culling in this world. By combining our strengths, we shall overcome this trial as all others. <sighs> you wouldn't want to make the others jealous now. Oh, damn. Oh, look, our companions are actually chilling out and resting. There's a lot of little things this game does that just makes it believable, you know, like just how people act. So if we zoom out of the city, we can see the three locations surrounding us. I think we'll go to this one first. Ah, what's this? The Greetings. Guild. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here, yes, we conduct is. all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. Let's give him our Seeker token before we lose it. So this tells you the rewards you get. So for one, we get a Fairy Stone, which is like the fast travel system. If we get 30 of them, we can unlock the Dowsing Spikes. If we get all 220, we get the Ring of Endeavor, a mysterious power. We don't even know what it does. Let's equip some more skills for our character now. I'm going to get Ensnare. This allows me to take down Harpies. So pretty damn useful for my character for sure. Bump and Lift robs the target out of an item when the attack connects. Activates when using Carve, but has a low success rate. I'm going to get that. That sounds fun. And then also Controlled Full. I think we're probably going to need that if we're taking on bigger enemies. And then we'll get her the Deflect ability, Tusk Toss, which lets you hit enemies skyward. Oh, springboard. This lets you launch your allies in the air using your shield. That is insanely cool. Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. Oh, another question. And quest. we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot <laughs> assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. He runs okay. the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. You better go and ask May about fortune that. smile upon you, sir. First, we must find out how to procure what we require. Then our search can begin in earnest. Boost maximum health. Say, hey. you've got a decent arm on you. Uh, okay. No need to be humble. Just the other day, I watched you fell a massive monster with my own two eyes. I've never seen the like. Pray, sir, teach me to fight like you do. I'm after I'm an instructor, see, but the ones in this city are cravens all. The sort that decided to teach to avoid the battlefield. If I'm to grow stronger, I need to learn from someone who's seen actual battle. A real warrior, such as yourself. Oh, yeah, let's Won't go. You give me a chance. Tell him about Beren. And this Baron fellow, he's a real warrior. I suppose you wouldn't recommend him if he wasn't. And after all, I've seen your prowess. I'm inclined to trust your judgment. Many thanks, sir. Methinks I'll seek out this Baron and see what he can teach me. I was hoping he'd follow me and then I'd just be able to throw him in the river or something, but hey, that's me. That was the motivated soldier for Beren's quest. All right, let's go back to the town square and speak to the armory guy about these weapons. Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim, truly. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since mm. learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den from the tell of it. Their lair lies somewhere along the western road. So we can do that quest on Pray the way. do be careful. And that weapon stash is at the same location that we already have to go to anyway. So it's lucky we picked up that quest. So now we need to deal with the monster threats. And we have three different locations to go to. Starting out, we're going to go to Trevo Mine. So we want to head to the west out of the city across this bridge. And then we're going to go all the way over here on the map to Trevo Mine. Let's go ahead and set a new waypoint there so we actually know where we're going. It's almost sunrise and I don't actually think we need to sleep. I think we're fine just to carry on. So this is the great bridge out of the city here. You can see an ox cart actually coming into the city as we're about to leave there. Now... Go for your characters and make sure that you only have the stuff you need to take on this adventure with you. There's no point in every time you leave, kind of act like you're going out on a hike or a new adventure. You don't want to be taking tons of stuff with you. Then we can 
make our way onwards and outwards. There's another ballista on that that keep over there. But um, we need to go and follow this path straight ahead out of Vermont. Uh, perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only... Look, master! Goblins! Goblins! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Yeah, right. have been doused in oil. You must steer clear of fire. Don't worry. No one will catch me, Lydia. Oh, yes. Mate, my fire swords are just so powerful against these nasty goblin creatures. But anyway, now we've cleared that ambush, we can carry on down this path here. So wars the locate. Oh, we better pick up these ingredients the as we go. And by the way, guys, let me know sure in we'll the comments below if you want me to kind of now, keep in the sections of exploration. We'll take a closer look. Oh my god, there's a massive troll. <sighs> We're going to have to take this boy out. Let's go. Oh, since letting the enemy gain the upper hand, the early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Climb up on his back. Welcome. Just a casual troll on the way to where we're going. Oh my god, did I just fall off? No, I'm fine. He's giving me the ice enchantment. I'm going to climb up to the back of his head here. Just start going ham on the back of his head. Andrew's dead. Pawns are rendered immobile when their health falls to zero. If you leave them in that state, they'll be removed forcibly from your party. Now, you can't instantly revive your pawns like in Dragon's Dogma 1. You actually have to spend a few seconds to revive them. The maximum health of the revived pawn will be equal to the Arisen's remaining health. Okay, that's good. So if I heal myself and then res someone, it's actually advantageous. Okay, I'm going to jump off this character. And I'm going to res my pawn. I think he's in a pretty safe position for me to... Oh, no. That ogre is right behind us. So I'm going to pick him up. I'm going to run around the corner. And then I'm going to res him right here. If I can. Poor Andrew. There we go. Now he's back to full health. Almost. And we'll climb up. Again, on his back. Hopefully my mage will enchant my daggers. Get wrecked. I want to get onto his face, though. There we go. Now we're doing big damage. Oh my god, I'm holding on for dear life. <laughs> I'm going to fall off, I think. We'll drop off before we lose our stamina. We don't... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's thrown us down. Yeah, he's going down. Get wrecked. All right, let's actually get up close and just go ham on his face while we can. Lydia, what are you doing? Why, why are you giving him your back massage, Lydia? <laughs> Lydia, stop. Oh my god, what am I doing? Let's try and grab onto him. Oh no! Oh, I was on his bum and he just jumped onto me. Look how damaged the back of his head is there. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. We finished him. Level 10. Oh, amazing. Oh, my God. The troll landed on my head. Another battle with nearly a moment to breathe. We must Wait. try to find a moment to gather our strength. Are we getting attacked again? I think we're okay, Lydia. Calm down. All right, so we're just here on the map. We're like halfway there now after killing that massive troll. There's also a campsite over there. We did want to rest, but I think we're okay. All right, so we're going to continue down the path there. And there's a nice little bridge. Now, I do know we can destroy these bridges. So I am quite curious to do that. But right now, probably not much point because we actually need the bridge. This ox guard was beset by assailants it could not shake. And this is the result. The yes, roads Lydia. Are hardly safe. Okay, so we worked our way all the way down the road, past that campsite, across the river here. And we are right here at this old mining area, which seems to have been beset by goblins. Wait, they're actually getting attacked by harpies? Oh no, it's someone else's pawn. Oh no. Why is he traveling down there? Uh, can we jump across here? Yep, I can. See if we can hit it. There we go, we got it. Oh my god, I'm getting killed by the other harpy though. We can still take it out. 
And we've ranked up our vocation now. My archer is doing work against these harpies. I think it's actually worth having one in the party. However, I have heard from my friends that having a um, pawn thief is actually not very powerful. So it's powerful if you're playing it yourself. So this is where we're going to find the goblin's lair. All right, let's get well. our pawns to follow I us into return. this cave. Go ahead and light cave. our lantern. Shall we proceed into the depths? Tread carefully. One goblin boss. One Don't worry. I'll kill them. There's a bunch of boulders in here, so we need to take care. Uh-oh, that's an explosive. Oh, God, he's going to throw it. He's going to throw ours. Lydia, get back, get back. Ow! Oh, God, run away. Ow. He literally suicided to kill us all. Let's quickly uh, get our pawn to heal us all. The walls are too close for comfort here. Don't worry. Let us proceed with caution. There's another way up to the right here. Yeah, Rex. Oh my god. Please, someone put me out. Someone put me out. Please, please. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just standing there on fire and everyone's like, yeah, better douse those flames. So, what do we have up the top here? Some more enemies, I see. We want to reserve our stamina because this seems to be a longer fight in here. Oh, two-handed sword. We would be invincible. So the two-handed sword is going to allow us to unlock the warrior vocation. And also gather a bunch of other stuff in here too. So now there's two ways to go onwards. I'm going to go right through this prison door. I didn't know if it was locked. Doesn't seem to be locked. This area looks like a little bit of a sneaky way, actually. I'm going to go straight for the guy at the back here. Dodge through his flame throw. Oh, too slow. Get wrecked. Okay, so we'll loot these guys. And then we're in another big room here. This looks like the goblin's main encampment. Who's this up ahead, though? All right, let's send in our pawn, sir. Oi, you there. If you're fit to fight, give us a hand. Of course, my friend. Oh, I froze him. Get wrecked. Just one more to go. These were the guys That's sent it. to clear the place out then, I think. You've a strong arm. The goblins are well routed. You have my thanks. So he did that quest and got 3,000 gold. It was a simple patrol mission till we walked into their ambush. Those cursed things caught us entirely unawares. I don't know where we'd be if you hadn't come along. I pray you'll let me repay the favor if ever there's a chance. Oh, can you be a follower, Alex? Oh, tons of loot. We're actually getting a lot more Over gold here. from the enemies here, which is nice. Can probably afford to stay at the inn again. Signs of valor. Oh, wait, those are new daggers. These do 173 damage in comparison. We've already found the great sword, but now we need to obtain the arch staff and great sword. Let's set that as our priority quest because it might tell us where it is. Oh my god, I didn't know this. Whoa! Oh my god, Andrew, you almost died. Look how deep this place goes. I didn't know it was like the Mines of Mori. Go back through this prison door, and then we go right this time. This actually leads down into the Goblin's Den. So let's regain our energy, and here they are. If I do say so myself. Goblins, master! Oh! One cannot be too careful. I got stuck there. Let's take out this guy before he throws that rock. Get wrecked. Oh my god, this guy is huge. That is a big goblin. Let's try and stab him in the back here. Oh my god. He's angry. Finish him off. Right, now we can cross this bridge that we saw from all the way up there. It's actually a bit rob wobbly, to be honest. And then I'm going to pick one of these up. I want to see if I can, like, just throw it on someone. Oh! Really? And we broke the bridge. Okay, yeah, great. Can you uh, help me? Probably the most no stupid thing I've done so here. far. 
So if we continue going deeper, where does this lead us? Oh, an ornate chest hidden at the back. So this is right at the end of the dungeon. Back. Ah, so this is the arch which we need to unlock the vocation. Right at the bottom of the location we find this. Cool. And now we're back where we saved these knights. And if we go off to the north here, into the deep cave, requires a little bit of a climb. And we can actually get out of this place and see the light over there in the distance. Here we are. Daylight. Oh, is this? Oh, this is a roll down ladder. So we can actually lower this to get down. And then we can slide down it. Sliding down rope Where ladders. There's a way in, there's a way out. It's a pretty cool skill. All right, let's make this again. I'll carefully conserve my strength. And we're going to go ahead and hire Quinn, who is level 15, same level as us. And we're going to swap out Barry, who's like half his level. All right, Barry. It was nice serving with you, Barry. I'll see you later, mates. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, I didn't know it was so deep. He just disappeared. Bloody hell, Barry. He's gone. <laughs> what is that? Oh, my God. What is that? Whatever it is, it's taking out all the goblins. We've got goblins. We have Stay no here on me. Our Look at all these giant bulls. Right. I want to see who wins. Oh my god, here it comes. Oh! Lydia's already dead. Let's pick her up. Oh god, am I dead? I'm almost dead too. There's too many goblins around here. Oh my god, they're all dead. I knew we shouldn't have got involved in this. Let's see if I can res Quinn. See, it takes a lot longer now. Ow. Oh my god, I'm dead. No, 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 no. We are not going... No. Follow me. Follow me. We're not going that way this time. So there's a bunch of adventurers here that are helping with the goblins who are running after us. And also, there's a giant boss in the distance there. We must not give them a chance to recover. I don't know if a they can kill it. That oh my god, they're actually creaming it right now. I'm just gonna stand back here in case I need to res anyone, but they are a lot more powerful here. They're actually taking it out. God, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna call my pawns over. You literally cannot see anything. It's just killing everything in the darkness. No, Lydia, come here. I do not want us to be a part of this battle. Oh my god, that guy's not okay. Okay, Focus it's it's down, attack. it's down. Let's go and help. <laughs> come on, come on, we can kill it. Give me the credit. Yes, Lydia. Okay, now run away. Attack. Oh god, it's gonna charge me. Luckily, we have an incredible dodge. Oh my god, Lydia's gonna kill it! Yes, Lydia! Oh, she did it! Holy moly, 3,000 experience? Dude, that must have leveled me up. We got a beast stake and a minotaur horn. Oh my god, I can't believe... Uh, the only reason we did that was because there were just random adventurers nearby. Oh, there's a new archer here. Can we hire her? Oh no, wait, you're not a pawn. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, I've made it back to the giant bridge. You can see how dark it is in comparison to where we left. The city looks absolutely humongous, though, doesn't it? All right, let's head to the local inn here. All right, let's Good go ahead and rest sir. at the inn I now. I trust you fared all right on the road. Rest till morning. The... Indeed. Come, we've much to be getting on with. All right, let's head outside here. Indeed. And if we go down Tell the street, we can go back to the Pawn's Guild. And now we can talk to this gentleman here. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? I can give him the greatsword and the archie staff. And now I can give him the staff first. So let's go ahead and deliver that. Oh -ho! And that's then going to unlock the sorcerer vocation. And then obviously after we can give him the warrior's sword or the two-handed sword we got. And that's going to unlock the warrior's vocation. And now if we talk to him, we've unlocked the option to buy the warrior and the sorcerer just here. Horn has come back from the rift. The arisen I served was always at the center of attention. Hardly a day went by where we didn't visit the hot springs. What have you been doing with Lydia? Amy gave me some cool stuff too. And who's Noe? He didn't give me anything. How dare you treat Lydia like that? I return safe and sound. And I dare say wiser for my travels. 
Well done, Lydia. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Oh no, why Come, are you here? We've much to be. One day I'm going to have. I didn't realize there was a ladder next to the roof here. You can actually get access to the roof. Oh no 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 no! I just woke up. I just woke up. Do you know what? We might as well reload. Okay, what is the point of this ladder then? Like, is it is it actually just pointless? So you can jump over here, and then we can jump. Like, what's what is the point? I jump over there. I'm going for it. Oh my God, Jesus! You thought he was gonna kill us? Oh look, there's a chest at the top of the roof, dude. There's like three chests up here. How do I get up? Wait. Oh, Melena. Okay, thanks, Melena. We can't, she still can't get up there. Oh yeah, servant servant's boots, savant's boots. The fairy stone in hand, we can travel wheresoever we please. Tis not an item to be squandered. And a silver rapier. So the rapier does 216 damage, but it's for a warrior. So I can give that to Lydia. And the servant's boots are for mages. We'll probably just sell those. If you give them to a pawn that isn't yours, they just lose it. Oh. Uh, okay. Drop down here. And there's a little chest hidden. Oh my god, the throat cutters. Dude, these were in the shop, but they're not as good as my current weapons, I don't think. Let's have a look. Yeah, 158. So they're actually worse. But uh, we can sell those. Let's head down to the market. That's it. I've had enough. Clear oh. off. And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. What's going on but here, I've then? I've got the coin. I swear it. I simply just... Where is it, then, eh? Bring the coin. All of it. Or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Are we clear? Tis uncommon for What's a lad of his here? age to be unable to... Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption. But were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? Yes, that was me. I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. I almost died trying to get there. How the heck did she get there? Absolutely fine. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? You better be a good shop. Over here, if you please. Otherwise I'll regret this. Welcome and well met. An ornate box for 800. Oh, we got a 20% discount. Something small can be stored within the, the box. What? And he sells health potions. Okay, that's actually quite useful. So that kid seemed to want this ornate box. What happens if we buy it? 800 gold. Can I also sell you my stuff? You don't really buy anything for any extra money though, do you? 460 gold for the throat cutters. Might as well sell those. Same with the servants, boots. That kid's just over here behind oh, the wall. Tis you. You're a welcome sight. Forgive my boldness, but I have a small favor to ask of you. You're, you're a rich kid with a lot of favours to ask. Would you be willing to lend me some gold? I swear you'll be repaid in full. What do you need it for? I'm just gonna give him the box and not ask. <laughs> there you go. Yes. I don't believe it. How did you know I wanted this? <laughs> I just assumed. It's the only thing that guy was selling without potions. Never mind. I'll treasure it all the same. You've my thanks, sir. And pray let me return the favour someday. Do I not get he paid He seems a young now? man of decent character. I believe his promise to repay your kindness was a genuine one. I think you are lying. You're a poor judge of character. So Lydia's new sword <laughs> does double the damage. Let's get her to equip that. Don't gather round. Treat your ears to a tail. There's a ladder here. Think of that story. What story? I didn't even hear the story. It's well and all, but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from, then? Makes a man wonder it does. 
Hmm, pretty suspicious. Let's keep an eye on the beggar then. I think today is a great place to end today's episode, but tomorrow we're going to carry on with the main quest, a monster culling. And we're going to go to the other two villages and kill off the monsters there to hopefully earn the people's trust.